Well, folks, we always suspected this day would come. It's one many of you have probably been anticipating for a very, very long time. Today is the day that we dive deep down into that Nazi ideology that permeates through social media. Ugh, the terrible Nazis. Who could ever forget how they made fun of people for being really cringy and how they specifically put people in fursuits into the ovens? Those bastards with that damn anti-furry agenda. Wait, hold on. There's, there's something wrong with the, uh, the script here. Oh, Nerd Skull sent this in to me. This, is, uh, this has been revised a little bit. Uh, the Nazis didn't do any of that. They actually tried to commit a real genocide against an actual marginalized group of people. But uh, it doesn't seem like someone like Nerd Skull really cares much about what the truth happens to be. What can I say except... You're a fucking idiot. Matt apparently suspects I'm a Nazi because of who I follow on social media, as well as the fact that I typically talk about quote-unquote cringe culture, and I'm quote-unquote anti-furry, as well as adjacent to individuals such as Mr. Medicare, as well as Kiwi Farms. Well, I'm going to put one of those claims to bed right up front. I'm fairly certain I've never spoken to Jim in my life, and I'm fairly certain if he knew that I was even alive, he would be happy to make fun of me. I don't think he really wants to associate with a furry. God damn it, I can't believe that's even a fucking argument. Why would you say something so controversial yet so brave? And as for his claim about Kiwi Farms, as you can see with a couple of these comments on very specific threads that know about me, well, you can see that they're really not a fan of mine either. In fact, they think I'm just as retarded as Matt over there. So I think we can rule that one out too. But let's give Matt the benefit of the bucks. I'm sure that he doesn't just call anybody that disagrees with him a Nazi. I mean, that's not something- oh wait, wait, what's- oh, fuck, Matt, you're calling- you're calling somebody who disagreed with you in DMs right here a Nazi uh, just because of a disagreement, uh, despite the fact that earlier in the exact same conversation with the exact same person, you made the argument that you don't throw that word around very, very loosely. Matt, why would you do that? Why? Why, Matt? Why did... Matt, come on now. Well, I'm, I'm sure that's the only bit of hip hop... Wait, wait... Same fucking conversation. He says if he named uh, me or me or the person he was talking to that we would accuse him of harassing. And uh, then goes on in a different conversation to call Kiwi Farms stalkers. Um, Matt, uh, this is actually getting kind of sad. Um, I'm going to keep looking into this a little bit, but fuck's sake, Matt. Jesus Christ, this is actually starting to get pathetic. And holy shit, now there's an entire there's an entire level of a Me Too level thread right here going on where people have talked about who Matt is called a Nazi. Um, I, I thought you didn't throw that word around very loosely, Matt. Um, this is not looking good, buddy. You're starting to look like a little bit of a liar. Well, at least one thing we know about Matt is that he will support every single claim that he will ever make, because it's... it's it, <sighs> He's got to, right? He makes a lot of really big claims. He's got to support... Wait, wait. Um, now, here's a claim he's making in that conversation that I apparently... Uh, hold on a moment. Let me read this. I, apparently, I don't think I ever claimed that. I don't think I ever claimed alt furries aren't Nazis. I don't think that's a statement I ever made. Uh, let me just fact check that one real quick. Yeah, no, there's a couple of tweets talking about potential alt accounts. You know, people who create uh, different accounts so that they can get around blocks. Uh, in case they just don't want to go into an incognito mode. I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't just do that, but uh, some people, they're weird. Uh, there's a couple tweets that have uh, alt-rock mentioned. There's a an early art piece when I used to actually draw, which was an alternate version of a different art piece. Um, no, I'm searching for my handle and searching for the word alt, you know, which you would have to use to talk about alt furs. Um, there doesn't seem to be anything popping up. Matt, <clears throat> you, you don't seem to be very, uh, very skilled at what you're doing. Um, is, uh, Matt, I'm, I'm, I want to believe you, Matt. I want to believe you, believe you so much when you say that I'm a big, bad, evil Nazi. But, you know, I'm just, I'm, <laughs> you're really making some really weak claims because they're very easily debunked. And that's probably because you're very fucking stupid. But I'm really trying, Matt. I'm really, really trying for your sake, buddy. 
Okay, so what have we established so far? I've never publicly endorsed alt furries, uh, so that's a very easily debunked claim. Uh, Matt calls everybody a Nazi because there's so many counts of people who will come forward saying this, as well as very clear DM conversations where he immediately does that to somebody. Uh, so that's a debunked claim. Um, you know, Matt's a complete fucking hypocrite, which there's multiple pieces of evidence just in this drama alone that proves that. Um, so his credibility is completely shot. Uh, well, let's at least discuss a little bit more of the, uh, what he calls a Nazi. Okay, so apparently to Matt, a Nazi is an anti-fur, um, who very heavily indulges in cringe culture, and typically uses, in, uh, I don't know if it uses a lot of the talking points Mr. Mediker, uh, uses, or if it's, or if it's just in, enjoying his content, uh, it, in which case you've got a huge fucking problem because I think half the internet's a fucking Nazi if these are your definitions. Um, Matt, uh, not for nothing, but you do realize the Nazis actually attempted multiple different types of genocide and you realize that by actually calling people that only do these very trivial things Nazis, you actually trivialize the, the concept of what not the Nazis did to people. You're actively marginalizing people through using Nazis in this term, because you're cheapening the actual suffering of the people that suffered at the hands of Nazis. Matt, you're not only part of the problem, you are the problem. You are your problem, Matt. Oh, this has been a... I, this video started off looking like fun, but now I just feel fucking depressed. The idea that people actually take you seriously, Matt, that actually fucking frightens me. Because from what I'm seeing, you've got somewhere between four and 5,000 followers on Twitter right now. God help every one of them, because that is four to 5,000 people who are too fucking stupid to know how retarded you are. And I fear for those people and everyone they will come into contact with. Well, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Links to my social media are down below, uh, as well as the Discord server. Pop in, say hello, and I'll be sure to throw some Nazi propaganda at you. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later.